everyone, it's Michael, and today I want to talk about the key to human interactions. How to get along with other people, how to have better networks, how to have more friends, how to date more. It's like this is what I found is really the key to, to human interactions. And it really is feeling understood. That is it. That is like the basic from what I've seen. Now, why do I feel qualified to talk about this? I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a professor, I'm not any of those things. But what I do work in is a very high intensity, high volume interactions with people where there's a lot of disagreements. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that uh, I need to help them reach their fullest potential, that I need to terminate, that I need to fire, that I need to hire, um, that I need to bring the best out of them, that I need to sometimes reprimand behavior. It's like I, I deal a lot with people. And what I found in the last year is that feeling understood always leads to better reactions from people and leads to better results. And my coworkers or anyone that I know that gets into altercations with other people and it doesn't get resolved, it's usually because they don't care if the other person feels understood or not. It's just, it's me, me, me. It's my way. I want to, I want to feel understood before you ever feel understood. So the three points that I want to talk about today, I'm reading off my little paper here. Uh, number one, feeling seen feels validating. Number two, we love ourselves and we have an ego. And three, I want to talk about why this helps with de-escalating certain problems and issues. And like, if you're having like a like a fight with your spouse or with a partner, or with a friend, why feeling understood is like literally the very first thing you have to do. So, number one, feeling seen is validating. I want to start off with a really powerful analogy, at least for me, which is this: Imagine you're at a bar, you're at a party, and you see someone attractive, and you want to go up to this cute girl, this cute, cute boy, whatever and you go up to them and you say, hey, how's it going? You have two scenarios, right? The very first one. You say, hey, how's it going? They go, hey, how's it going? You're like, hey, I find you very attractive. I would like to take you out. And they go, hmm, I'm not interested, but I appreciate it, thank you. Like, it was probably very brave of you to come up. I'm just not interested, but, but thank you. And you're like, okay, cool, no problem. Well, thanks anyways, appreciate it, and you leave. Nothing about the second one. You go up and you go, hey, they don't even look in your direction. They're just looking away. Excuse me, hey. They're not even looking. You tap them on the shoulder. They, do, they look around. They don't even see you. You're just like mortified. You're like, ah, never mind. And you just turn away. Which one do you think was a better experience for you? It's like if you walk into a party, the second analogy, you walk into a party and the first thing people do Everyone's just going, hey, how are you? And you're like, whoa, what's up, guys? How's it going? You're hugging people. You're like, we're so happy you're here. Oh, my God, you're finally, you're, you came to the party. We're waiting for you. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, let's all, like, let's all, like, take a shower or whatever. Or if you don't drink, let's all just freaking sing kumbaya together or whatever. And you feel good. Think about the second one. You go in, and people see you. People turn their heads, and they go, huh. Like, if you don't even exist. Like, they don't even care that you're there. That hurts us because we don't feel validated. We don't be, we're, we're not seen and we're, we're predisposed to be social creatures as human beings. So it's really important to, to be feel like to feel heard and seen because it's validating to our experience and to our second point, to our ego. So Freud know, knew this as the ego was his thing, right? And, and a lot of, you know, young and, and, and char, I think young came from Freud, right? And, you know, they talked a lot about ego because it's all about me, 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 me. So, for example, and this comes to the third point, when you're having an altercation with someone, what's the most powerful thing you can do is saying, hey, I understand where you're coming from. I, even if you don't agree with them, I understand and I, and I see your point. It's like that right away will blow any smoke out of anyone's sails. I, I've, anyone's sails. Any wind out of anyone's sails, as if it was a boat. That's the analogy. But I've even tried it in my own interaction. So in my work, tensions run very high. And even if it's not my fault, people will come very angry to me. And I've tried it before where I'm like, this honestly doesn't affect me at all because I have no, no horse in the game. So they're really, really mad. And I will look at them dead in the eyes and I'll say, I understand. And that's really frustrating. I'm sorry that happened to you. Uh, well, well, the other manager said he didn't care. 
and that sucks you should they should care because you're going through something very hard and this should be an experience where you and your manager can can really come together and see if we can help you in any way wow you know i really appreciate that like right away it's de-escalated and i'm not talking about lying by the way i'm not talking about like you know lying that you understand them I've had people, you know, come up to me like frustrated because I asked them so many questions because I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like, I don't understand because I'm not going to say, hey, I understand unless I really do. So it really comes down to being honest and saying, hey, I understand your position, even if I don't agree with it, even if it's like we look at the world from two different points of view and we don't agree with each other. As long as you say, I understand your point. I see where you're coming from. I see the logic. I just don't agree with you because of this, this and this. It's much better than Oh no no no! I don't even I don't even see that. Like that just makes no sense to me. That that's out of that's alien. That's out of another world. Like no one wants to feel that way. So if you're ever trying to network, if you're ever trying to sell anyone, if you're ever trying to build together a team, the first thing you should do is build trust and say, Hey, what are you going through? Like let me understand. Like if you're selling, the very first thing you should do is understand where the other person's coming from. What do they need? Like if you're trying to sell, I love the Wolf of Wall Street um, analogy where he's trying to sell a pen and he's like, well, sell me this pen. And he's like, well, write your name down. I don't have a pen. Supply and demand. Like, yes, it's a very like, very short analogy, but what's the biggest part of that? He should have said, hey, do you need a pen? And if he's like, no, it's like, cool, I understand. And off to the next one. But if you're like, hey, do, I, do you need a pen? He's like, yeah, I do. It's like, oh, why do you need a pen? Oh, it's because of this and this. Oh, interesting. So how's it feel when you don't have a pen? And you can literally go through all these things until you sell to them, which is going to make it a lot of a higher experience, especially if you're trying to, it's just an analogy, if you're trying to sell something a lot more expensive than just a pen. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the video. Um, try it out. Next time you get into a fight with your partner, with some friends, with your family, like put your ego aside and tell them like, hey, I understand. But of course you will go across narcissists where you will say, hey, I understand. And they're like, damn right you do, because I'm right. And they won't try to understand you. And at that point, that's not your problem anymore. At that point, it's like, oh, I understand your point. And you take the high road and you just go, cool. They don't want to have a discussion. They don't want to understand my point of view. This is toxic for some reason. It should end there. Because if we're not trying to understand each other's point of view, then why are we even trying to talk? Anyway, hopefully this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Do you think the video was good? Do you think it was bad? Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.